What's going on everybody? Clay Mahaffey on Mahaffey Moto once again and uh, we're gonna see if the uh, Harley Sports 1200 see how it handles the interstate. We're going to uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Not really. Oh man. We're going 60 right now about to merge on. That car is going to let me in front of them. Man, we're going 65. Yeah, we're going 70 right now. And the uh, Sportster, Sportster's not really having an issue getting up to 70. Whoa. <clears throat> and the only thing I've done aftermarket, or that is done aftermarket to this bike, is uh, basic your basic stage one deal, which is an exhaust and air cleaner system. But yeah, we're going 75 right now, and it's it's taking it well. I'm keeping up with traffic. Oh man! Let's see if I can. <coughs> it's got the power to to pass cars too. I've gotten this thing up to 90. I'm only going to 75 right now, but yeah, dude. This thing is a. Uh, you can you can bob and weave through some traffic if you want to. Hopefully my mic sounds good. I know every video I talk about my mic, but uh, yeah, my mic's really been giving me issues lately. Just trying to find the perfect setup. Man, oh man, on the interstate, on the Sportster. Never thought I'd see the day. But I took off work today and I. Uh, just went and ate at a Buffalo Wild Wings. So, uh, wake up, go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and get on my motorcycle, go to Buffalo Wild Wings, and <coughs> have a meal, and ride my motorcycle in the beautiful 85 degree weather. It doesn't get much better than this. That I can tell you. That I can tell you, brother. Wow. And we're slowed down to 70. What's going on here? Is there road work up ahead? Please don't tell me we're about, oh, a uh, tire in the road? Oh man, I've been trying to get a lot more videos out lately. We're about to get in the other lane, dude. We ain't dealing with slow, oh, it's a dump truck. No, it's not a dump truck, it's a crate hauler. The Mississippi Interstate. This is between the, the cities of Madison and Gluckstadt. So we're going to head up to Gluckstadt. Whee! Oh man, this is it guys. This is it. It's just beautiful weather out today. The type of weather you don't want to be sitting in traffic in. I was sitting in traffic just a minute ago. I was kind of sweating. But it's pretty cool. Is my GoPro shaking? Oh well, the, the seven's got uh, super stabilization. So uh, yeah. It is a dump truck up here. And I feel when you get behind a dump truck, you can just feel like uh, barely little particles, I guess, of dirt just hit your arms. Dang, I'm going 75. I'm keeping it between 70 and 80 miles an hour right now, and I mean, there's, it's having no issue keeping up. RPMs are kind of high, but I think that's a Sportster for you because uh, a Sportster's RPMs are always a little bit higher than like a uh, touring motorcycle just because you got a little bit more torque, a little bit more get up and go. Oh man, 
and stuff in the road. This could be dangerous. Hopefully none of these cars knock any of it my way. All right, we're good. And we're not going to Guckstadt. We're going to uh, Grenada. So yeah, 70 miles an hour. We're cruising so easily. Please don't knock anything on me. No, oh, close them. I get nervous if like there's a lot of stuff in the road. I get nervous that other cars are gonna knock it, knock stuff on me. Oh no, police! Uh oh, he's searching. He's searching suitcases. Can't be good. Can't be good. That I can tell you. I guess you, I, I've heard of people taking sportsters on uh, trips, on like trips and stuff, and I assume they use the interstate, I assume they stay around 70, 75 miles an hour. I would not think you would have any issues if you wanted to do that, but um, because I think the sportsters kind of made for a higher RPM type deal. Let's get another slide. Sports are kind of made for uh, to be able to take those higher RPMs. Oh man, that sounds amazing. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how many miles I just went. Like maybe five or maybe more. I don't know. Oh look, they got some, uh, I don't know, KTMs or something out there. But uh, yeah, I mean, th this is a Sportster 1200. It, it handled it well. You, you got enough power to, to pass cars on the interstate. You got enough power to keep up with the basic speed. So, uh, hey, <clears throat> this, uh, the Sportster's, I think the Sportster is a, uh, a decent all around. I don't know if it's the best for touring. I know some people will set them up for touring, but uh, one day I'll probably uh, ride across country on a sports or something one day, just uh, just for fun. While I'm still young and I can take it, but definitely one day I'll probably gonna get me a, uh, a touring style uh, motorcycle for sure. Fun fact, this is where they make Nissans at. I don't know what all, what models they make there, but uh, yeah, it's where they make Nissan, Nissan cars, trucks, vans, you name it. And a lot of those cars in the parking lot are actually Nissans. I bet, I guess the employees probably maybe get a deal on them or something. But yeah, that's the Nissan plant. Nissan, see? That place is huge. I think they got their own water tower back there. Why do they got a playground there? What are they, what is it? I wonder how often that gets used. Bring your kid to work day. And they build a playground for the bring your kid to work day once a year. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna end this video right about here. So if you made it this far in the video, I love you. So turn the favorite and subscribe. Remember to keep God first in everything you do. And uh, guess what? I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.